Random appearance of a Grasputin? Sure fucking came out of nowhere. Gregory Rasputin or Kotomine Kyrie? AKA Priest Kyrie. I'm gonna call him by the real name for now. Thank you, Mr. Protag. Or, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, Mr. Protag. It seems that it is no, uh, yeah, no longer necessary for me to have our reintroduction once again. Because, yeah, he's technically Rus... Um, yeah, so he's technically uh, Gregorius uh, Rasputin. But at the same time, he specifically says, You can call me Kotomine, uh, Kotomine a priest Kotomine, or Rasputin. You can call me whichever you want. However, I was looking for someone. Yeah, I was looking for someone in particular, and then the fact that we were able to come by must be the guidance of our Lord, perhaps. Ah, uh, I know the current situation that's being held at hand. There's no need for you to re-explain. Currently, you want to go through this first underworld realm because you want to rendezvous towards the storm border. However, due to the guardian of the underworld, you have now temporarily retreated and now deciding the factor of what you will do next. Are we in the right page so far? Yes, that's quite correct. But why you're in front of us out of all this time? Yes, I believe you... Uh, yeah, you have a quote-unquote uh, detriment Tekitai uh, Kanke. Uh, so, yeah, you and I are not... Uh, we are technically hostile enemies towards each other. Is it perhaps you arrived here... Uh, yeah, you arrived here because you're trying to get in our way of us trying to cut down this tree of emptiness. That's the only possibility you would show up in front of us. <laughs> yes. Uh, it seems that we have a quite the misunderstanding. Maybe perhaps the other uh, disciples' movements and their attributes were bad. <laughs> Maybe their past experiences rubbed you off. Please, you must understand. That I'm a... Oh yeah, I work as such a holy man. I am not very fond of combat. Bullshit. Uh, however, I am moving on a different objective this time. Like I told you before. I am looking for specifically someone you see. If that were to come into fruition, I would not fight, or I would not like to be in a hostile relationship with you all. And with this, my objective has been found, and my objective has been fulfilled. Hmm? So, my dear lady, so you were here all this time, I have arrived to pick you up. I was quite worried when you fell down from Earth at one point. However, it seems that your marble body has no damage whatsoever. Kept me relieved. Now, together. Ah, uh, yeah, let us go back together to the quote unquote Earth. Uh, yeah, earthly realm of the great majestic house. We have a lot of job. We have a lot of, uh, yeah, we have a lot of job and we have a lot of buffets. And a lot of capability of learning materials up ahead. Hmm? Who the hell is this guy? I don't know you. Get away from me. <laughs> Just as always. Your jokes are quite cruel and cold-hearted. I am your Rasputin. 
the very, uh, yeah, uh, I am your Rasputin, your butler that's very loyal. I just hope you sincerely have not forgotten. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Uh, I'm, I, my apologies, my lady. The fact that your vessels and your understanding of joke, you've uh, made me quite the laughter of my sides. Yes, the fact it is certainly okay to not even remember my name. From here on out, just learning the title priest, priest. I uh, yeah. Uh, learning the title of just being a priest is uh, satisfactory. Please understand that the most important part is that I am your butler. I am your servant and I am your servitude. I am your ally. Do you understand that? Hmm. I see. I can't remember whatsoever. But, I can also understand that what you are saying, there is no lie to it. Uh, it says this, uh, yeah, this, um, thick consistency, a blue almost close to black. It seems that you truly are my, uh, my slave, or aka my underling, for sure. No, Olga, that's not blue. It's pure black. It says, are you sure? This person's word, this priestess's word is nothing but shady. Uh, yeah, I don't think he could be trusted whatsoever. Uh, yeah, it says, you... Currently, you lost your memories and whatnot. You're gonna start have to doubting a lot of things. You're gonna, uh, yeah, you're gonna lose life if you keep doing that. Uh, it says, <laughs> somebody has nobility as me. It's quite irregular to not have a butler whatsoever. So, technically, I'm not being fooled. Yes, my dearest princess. Uh, it says, even if your memory loss has presented itself in its hindsight, it seems that you still have yourself maintained within it. Ha 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 It says, yeah, what a shady ass laughter. What do you, uh, yeah, what is the meaning of this, Rasputin? Yeah, it, uh, Olga Murray is like a written attribute. She's a fucking naive, silly girl that'll trust a priest, no problem. Uh, and technically, he did. Uh, like, he's a good guy, but he's really not, right? He, he does the quote-unquote, he does the small act of good in order to pertain the great evil. And instead of doing the great evil to do small act of good, right? He's that kind of an asshole, uh, he's kind of an asshole type where he'll act good for the sake of greater evil. Uh, it says, uh, yeah, very clear and very smart, uh, Miss Olga Murray. Uh, gets uh, instantly gained her trust in a uh, yeah, mere matter of moments is quite uh, yeah, uh, quite frightening. What are you trying to plan, Kotomine? Uh, yeah, Koto, uh, yeah, priest Kotomine. Hmm. There's no need to be so conflicted or so to be on guard. Everything requires the conversations to understand one another. Do we not? However, when it comes to unexpected circumstances, I believe you and I can come to an agreement on that. Uh, AKA, I was trying to looking for a princess. I, I was trying to look for a dearest princess who was supposed to be immobilized. 
But next thing you know, she has some weird friends. From my perspective, I sincerely want her to cut her entire ties with you all and get back to her own place and her own status, but... Hmm... What are you? Are you trying to just make me become a president just by words or something? I specifically said I will be helping out an organization called Karudea and Protag and MASH. At least, until we reach the storm border. I will not be, uh, yeah. uh, until we reach the storm border, I will not be leaving their post anytime soon. Miss Olga Murray, yes, we'll be greatly appreciative on that. Hmm, I see. Then it cannot be helped. Then, I will do the same as my princess. Or, aka, I say princess, uh, I'll just start saying my lady. It's the same concept. It says, if my lady is specifically saying that she is willing to collaborate with Karodea, I too will, uh, yeah, I too will help out. お嬢様がカルデアに協力すると言ってる間は、私もあ、君たちに協力しよう。Notice a very interesting statement he says. As long as my lady is willing to cooperate with Karudeas, I would also help out too. Notice it says Karudea and not us. That, that's the important part. He's generalizing it and not specifically telling that she'll help, he'll help us. That That is a wordplay that Rasputin is using. It says, as long as the my lady is going to collaborate or aka help out Karudea, I will help out as well. So in technicality, if I were to separate from Karudea at one point or if Karudea were to fall, we're dead. It says, however, as you can see, I'm just a regular pe uh, I'm just a regular priest that happens to walk by. I don't uh, yeah, I am not very good when it comes to combat competition. What? No, that's so bullshit. Ah uh, <laughs> That's actually that's actually damn, that's a that's a Uno reverse card Rasputin pulled on us there. Damn. No, 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 no. He actually is playing such a reverse Uno card on us right here that we can't deny that. So Rasputin specifically says it's not a lie. I am indeed a butler. I believe that's more hyperplot convenient for you guys, don't you think so? Meaning that if we deny that Rasputin's not a priest, or aka butler, he's going to be a combatant. And if he becomes a combatant, he's going to fight us, and we're gonna die. It's essentially Rasputin is saying, don't you think I should be labeled as a weakling currently so she doesn't order us to kill her. It's essentially, Rasputin is saying that you, since Olga can't remember, you want to keep me also not remembered. It's what it's saying, right? Since he's working with Olga, he's currently just a harmless butler. So as long as he is a harmless butler, right? AKA a harmless butler plea, uh, priest, He's not going to be a threat to us. But if the cat's out of the bag, he's not going to hesitate to attack us. <clears throat> okay. He's he's telling you he's telling you that you don't want it. You don't want her or him to reveal his true form. 
essentially. Got. <clears throat> That's right. So, MASH specifically explains it right here, right? It says that's quite correct, as Ms. Uh, Priest Kotomine has stated. If we were to acknowledge him as the foreigner god's disciple... Yeah, if we were to acknowledge him as a foreigner god's disciple, then we will have to have a conversation of who is the foreigner god. And the term foreigner god will be notified by Miss Olga Murray. When she learns the actual truth, we do not know what Miss Olga Murray's stable, uh, situation would predict like. So, in order to maintain our current situation, we have to accept Priest Kotomine as a butler. You get it? You get it? Kotomine is legitimately saying, I'm a priest and a butler for the princess, a.k.a. for my lady. Right? Is what... And because of that, we have to welcome in, because if we don't welcome him in, we have to acknowledge him as a disciple of the foreign god, and if a disciple of the foreign god terminology gets placed... Olga asks, we have to answer, and we don't know what happens after that. Hmm. I'm really glad that we came to an un mutual understanding. Uh, it says, with that, I would uh, swear by name that I will not... Uh, yeah, I will uh, swear by name that I will not push on the circumstances to my lady. Uh, it says, yeah, I'm not so cruel. I'm not so, yeah, uh, disastrously rude. The fact to destroy this dream of a friendship that has accumulated in the world of underground. I'm not so cruel. It's quite enjoyable, I suppose. Okay, I get that. But, do you know why she's like this? Hmm. It says no. The fact that... Oh yeah, the fact that against the planet, against this, yeah, against this planet, she had no enemies that she'd be able to... Oh yeah, she had no enemies that she needed to worry about. I was not even expecting that she would be, uh, yeah, she would damage to the point that she would lose some memories. That was out of my calculation as well. Ah. Speaking of out of our imagination, it's also, I've got quite the same question to you all. I've got, yeah, I would like to give, I, I would like to question you two, you all. I do not really care emotionally, however, we had a same job, after all. How was Limbo's end? Hmm? Um, li Limbo's end, you say? Um, that's, um, Senpai? <laughs> And hit him with the facts. Hit him with the facts as you expected. Fuck him. Dots. Hmm. I see. Then I won't hear. <laughs> yeah, I won't hear for it. Say it Logical. <laughs> it says, ah, so I won't. Yeah, let's just pretend it didn't happen. Uh, yeah, it says, other than that, everyone, we have a quote-unquote battle meeting to attend to. We're supposed to defeat, uh, yeah, the Guardian of the Underworld. One of the Guardian of the Underworld, one of the Guardian of the Underworld, Sochi Naruto. We're supposed to conquer her, correct? 
Then if that's the case, let me give you some wisdom and advice. After all, I am still a part of... I'm still associated with a part of exorcism to an extent. But that's true because he's in the Holy Church Association. Yeah, Lebai Barai. Yeah, evil spirit exorcism. Did you just say that? Uh, yeah, Priestess Kotomi? Yes. I can definitely see that servant has been possessed by an evil spirit. Well, more like it's that mask, I suppose. In Mexico, uh, Meki, yeah, Mekishiko, aka Mexico, they would call the Ka. Ra, is it Carabera or Pera? It should be Berra. Carbella. Uh, yeah. Carabera to Ittaka. A very strong divine strength, I've noticed. Ah, uh, it says, if we were to somehow take off that mask from that servant, I believe she will go back to her saint, uh, sanity. She will regain her sanity. I don't, yeah, I cannot guarantee that she'll be able to be back into her normal form. What does that mean? Hey. Uh, it says, as the factor that she has officially became a guardian of the underworld, those who became as such will, of course, will never be able to escape the world of under. Uh, so, yeah, it's essentially saying the quote-unquote, it is a-okay it is a for a living being to go through the underworld. It is also alright for the dead to descend down to the realm of the underworld. That's part of the trial. However, uh, yeah, what do you, uh, yeah, do you think that the guardian of the underworld is permitted to leave its post, I wonder. Isn't that the new rule that the proper human history gods have stated and constructed upon? Hmm. Tepe, it seems that you're quite the intelligent and wise one. Yes, there's gotta be a god that perhaps made such a rule be possible. However, this is a great opportunity in some circumstances. Now that the uh, the underworld realm line has been re-overwritten by the mythics, uh, the mythology of proper human history. So, in technicality, we are within the inside the lost uh, within the lost spell. It means that we are in a Lost Belt. However, we're technically not in all the Lost Belt. Miss Mash. I believe you can use that mechanical gauge to sequentially calculate the human... Um, uh, was it human stabilization? Yeah. Uh, human stabilization. Correct. Yes. I can gauge it, but this... <gasps> The stability has been... And that that. Uh, it should be A++. So, if it's not A++, what the fuck is it now? Dun dun da dun 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 If it's in A+, plus, what is it? Ah. 
Apa? And what is it, chat? What is it? Uh, so you know the human stability bullshits, right, chat? So right now, MASH is currently gauging at it. Lost Belt Death. That's the better word of it. It's called Calvera? Ah, oh, yeah, it's a mask. Calvera. I think it's spelled with a C, right? Instead of a K. Yes, sir. Calvera Mask. Instead of a skull. Because we technically have Calvera Skull, Matt. Uh, skull Candy. Um, but uh, a lot of people would have not, uh, currently she's wearing Calvera mask, which is a bit different. Uh, it says, yes, the humanity depth has been changing. What is the meaning of... Uh, it says, yeah, it means that the depth level is uh, pre-calculated, simultaneously being adjusted on the spot. Uh, it says, yeah, everything from the past, the present, the future, and from there, all of it is being calculated and is being observified, is the better question. So it says, in this realm, right, in this area, all the heroic spirit that you made tides and bonds to of Karudea, as long as you let the magical resources, you can summon as much as you want. Uh, at the same time, you can even pull bonds that, um, a possibility bonds that you don't know, you can bring it out temporarily. Uh, A, uh, yeah, uh, like a servant type A that even protagonist did not know as a heroic spirit. Or B, uh, yeah, or B... Uh, Protag knows the servant and able to summon to. However, in one person as a mage, summoning multiple servants is at their limits. You can't do, yeah, you can't push. However, if we were to reverse this and use the Storm Borders engine, I believe a summoning of a hundred, at least a hundred servants is possible just like you were trying to attempt it in tunguska wait so you already know this hmm um no it's just a uh yeah it is just an after effect that i've thought as well uh for tunguska I believe that I knew that you were come up with this plan and at the final and as a last resort, you'll able to do as such. I'm really glad that MASH, you're very honest and truthful. I really would like Kata to learn from this lesson. <laughs> That fucking face from Nash. So essentially Rasputin said, I think that's going to happen. Mash said, how did you know? <laughs> and then Rasputin says, it's only, uh, yeah, it's only logical, right? AKA, um, when it comes to Tunguska, it was inevitable. I knew that, uh, yeah, your last operation was this. If anything uh, goes wrong completely. And then Rasputin's like, I'm really glad that you react very honestly and truthful. 
I would like Cadoc. Yeah, I would like Cadoc to learn such a lesson too. And Mash fucking makes the face that she got jabated. <laughs> hmm. I don't have to explain any further, do I? It means that you can now summon freely here without will. Oh yeah, without will. Oh, he doesn't know that we can't summon Servant. Kek W. So it says, um, using... Ah, uh, yeah. Can we not summon a Servant? Possible. Yeah. Uh, in order to conquer Sochi Naruto. Ah, uh, yeah. An optimal Servant we can summon to conquer Sochi Naruto and move on. But even if we were had the bond for that, we... Mr. Priestess, I believe Protagonist cannot, uh, ever since arriving from Mikhtoran, is not able to summon any heroic spirit whatsoever. I sincerely have to apologize, but that plan, uh, that plan is unfinished. Hmm, I see. It seems to be the case. After all, I see the command seals all missing. And that command seal was being specifically used by Kamasoso. Protag, where did you let go of your command seal? That's... Yeah, so that's gonna be Tesca La Polka. This asshole. I think we got debated by Tessa. Um, I can't really remember, but it was a mysterious place, and... I see. So you were shrouded by mist. A world that was filled by it. And you probably did a conversion trade of equality in order to return back. I understand the situation. Uh, you used... Uh, yeah, you deposited your command seal. Yeah, you deposited your command seal. Uh, seal at the end. You deposited your command seal in order to survive in this nine uh, death realm, right? Kyushini Ishu Eta. Yeah. You deposited your command seal in order to survive. And that Kamasoso is using that command seal. Then it's very understandable that King Protea became alterified due to this sequence. She's probably somewhere around the dimension or somewhere around. You made a contract to such servant. Uh, so because of that, with her, with its command, with your command seal, an order was given and it was possible. A order that specifically says to turn in to the guardsman or aka the guardian of the underworld wait so from miss protea she thought the command seal was from master and became just like that perhaps uh so the monarchy about thomas she to uh yeah most likely if that is not the case, she'll not be giving up the com uh, yeah, spirit core so easily. But that is not the most important factor here. Important factor is that in order to pr uh, yeah, protect revive, he gave away his command seal. However, this is the underlying world. This is not the land of the living. So if that's the case, then perhaps you may... Hmm. Oh yeah, so this is gonna be some next level shit. And yeah, like this is gonna be some next level over big brain play. And remember, if you guys know the Aztecian lore, right? Aztecian lore sadly stated that at one point in the Aztec mythology, a lot of the Aztec gods got debated by humans because they came too smart. Because they created a contract that they were able to find loopholes out of. 
And this is part of the loophole that we're about to use. And specifically, Kotomine says it right there. Uh, it says, however, you shouldn't worry about that sequence. Because in order for Protag to be revived, he offered his command seals in return. That's the important part. However, this is the land of the dead, aka the realm of the underworld. This is not the world of living. Then if that's the case, and then Tepe interjects and saying, Tepe says, oh, I see. The fact that you've already been now stepped foot into the world of under, the quote unquote, the trade and the contract of uh, able to revive and the command seal um, deposit uh, will be void and nullified. Because after all, currently by stepping into the land of the dead you are no longer amongst the realm of the living so therefore the contract will be void and nullified correct hmm. <laughs> it's uh, even even rasputin likes uh tepe it's his mr tepe i would love to offer you some russian tea afterwards you're uh yeah you're quite the intelligent man that i'm starting to be fond of. I see. Uh, it says, yeah, we technically didn't, yeah, we didn't, we technically haven't tried it at all because we just assumed right when we got into the underworld realm that it wasn't gonna work, right? Why don't we try it, Protag? All right. Hey, 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 we don't have a command seal, but we can still summon, baby! That's enough for now. Now that you have the possibility of summon, now comes the operation. Uh, it says, as one person, there are limitations of number of summon you can do. I suppose you should create members that's very useful to you. Uh, Shinjaksuru Samen to say, Machina Kiraba, Sushiro Kouki, as long as you, uh, as long as you pick the right servants to fight against Sochi Naruto, it should be no problem. Aww, Olga's skulking, cause now we can summon and she feels a little useless. We're gonna use Ol Olga too. You tripping. Dots. Hmm. You're making quite an unsatisfactory face. Why do you make such a clouded Aya? Uh, why did you uh why do you make such a clouded figure of a face, even though we finally found a way to obtain victory? It says that might be true. But it is not an Aya, uh, it is not an option that frees King Protea. Hey, she's, she's smiling because, yeah, because um, he's suggesting we should kill it. Uh, and we're suggesting, no, we're not going to kill it. And Olga's 100% planning to not kill it. You saw her quick smile, right? When we said that. It's just, oh, I'm certainly aware of that. What my suggestion was a defeating against Sochi Naruto and not the destruction of King Protea whatsoever. <laughs> I said, you must understand. I am a Rasputin, a very bad person. Uh, even among the undeads or the immortals, I'm quite annoying, you see. And I know, uh, yeah, I am also a priest that has been long known for what an evil spirits do and think. All I need you to do is to stop the movements of Sochi Naruto, then my time will shine. Yeah, I will remove the mask. Yeah, I will remove the mask. And I will do my very best to separate the curse from the saint graph in order for a little exorcism. You must understand, I am a priest after all. Whenever it comes to combative stuff, I am very... not professional. However... 
opening up wounds and treating is something I do best. <laughs> this bitch. So, we can really save Protea, right? That's awesome! Mr. Butler, you're very useful! Yes, of course he is. He is my butler, after all. It's only natural that he's able to do such a thing. I says mo obaite nai ne ni dono kuchi nan da yo daitoryo. Demo daisuki ite kurete arigato. Man, Marine definitely is um growing on everybody right now. Marine's being a cutie patootie. It says now now. Who's that yeah, who's that president who totally forgot about his existence, huh? But I still like you. Thank you so much for staying with us, you know? Then let us select our servants necessary for this battle. What we're up against is a gigantic iguana Sochinarto. AKA a high servant saint graph been added on top of that. Uh, the Great Guardian of the Falls is a giant and has a immense defense. Also, um, due to the math Mask of Death, uh, no uh, aka the disease that lowers its health. Must not protag. Uh, your knowledge and your judgment is being chosen here. Ooh, that's kind of wild. Okay, so he's telling me I gotta fucking. Okay, so we have to 